Hey guys, welcome back to some more Critter Captain 2017 and part 17 of the road to world number one with England. And today we have the third and perhaps decisive test match against India with 2 0 down in the series, which really isn't good. Um, but we were very close in the last episode. Yeah, India won the toss again, got two decent totals, but. I mean, we got the highest total of the game in the last innings and still didn't win. Uh, but with only a top score of 63, I mean, a lot of players got in and got out. Could have been very, very different. Chris Walks did very well that match. He batted well and he bowled well in both innings. And I would have gave him man of the match, but uh, alas, he didn't get it. Um, right then, who do we want? We'll see if James Anderson's back. He is. Uh, and I think we need him, to be fair. Uh, I think Mark Wood comes out of it. He wasn't very effective in the last match. Liam Plunkett didn't actually get a chance. So uh, we'll see how the fitnesses are going uh, when we get that. But apart from that, I think unchanged. I mean, Johnny Bairstow is perhaps playing the worst out of everybody. Um, really hasn't done well at all in the series so far. Maybe give him a rest, actually. Johnny Bairstow and somebody uh, a lot of people have, have come in and said uh, to bring in was Ben Fawkes um, so we'll have a look at him uh, where is he we'll go by name and then down to Fawkes uh, there he is Ben Fawkes uh, Somerset and England 25 years old and he's been in all right form. He, he should uh, he should be a, a good option, I think. Uh, so we'll bring him in, see what he's all about. Obviously, Johnny Bairstow could just be a specialist batsman at some point, uh, if he felt that way inclined. Alistair Cook, all of a sudden, has got really good form. That's because he's went away to his county and got 118. So we'll keep him in bat and practice, make sure that he's doing all right. Joe Root has went away and got two centuries for his county so hopefully he'll come back uh, as himself rather than uh, playing poorly. Uh, ben Fawkes can have a bit of a batting practice as well. We'll get James Anderson seeing the physio. Uh, we'll get Mo and Ali seeing the physio. I think Broad, a uh, bit of bowling practice. bit of bowling practice for James Anderson as well and Ben Stokes. So there we go, that's that. Uh, and I think we're just about ready to get into the match. Uh, I've played forward a couple more days, so hopefully James Anderson has got his fitness. And there we go. That is the side that's pretty much going to take um, take to the field. We're going to play Livingston at 5 and Balance at 4. That's quite a risky one. But uh, Stokes at 6. Folks apparently at 8. But um, yeah, why not? We'll play him at 8. Uh, Walks at 9, Broad at 10, and Jimmy Anderson at 11 being our opening bowler. So, let's get into it. A very, very important match for us. Um, it's looking like a, a very good surface for batting. Uh, heads has got to come right some point, hasn't it? Oh, yet again, we've lost the toss. Three tosses in a row we've lost. And three times we'd like the bat, but um, we've ended up bowling. So, yeah, hopefully James Anderson can... Uh, Fill the void. Here he is, edged and gone. And well, I thought that was over. It wasn't. Apparently, it mustn't have carried. But uh, a good delivery early on from James Anderson, and a decent start from us here. We uh, would like to get a wicket before lunch, but uh, we're restricting the Indians to quite a low total so far. Walks to Nair. Walks was the best bowler last match, in my opinion. Oh, this could be a run out. This could be a run out. Oh, I think it was good running, though. It was a good throw from Ben Stokes, but unfortunately couldn't uh, finish finish them off. Uh, bring Joe Root in until lunch, and that is lunch on day one. 88 without loss. Uh, Anderson and Walks straight after lunch. Uh, we're not doing well here. Anderson and Nair. Can he make the breakthrough? No, he can't. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle so far. That's high in the air from Walks. There's somebody underneath it. Is he going to catch it? He is. 
Alistair Cook with the catch. Rahul gone for 57 and now India 119 for 1. We finally got the breakthrough here in the third test match. Anderson with a terrific delivery to Nairn. He's gone for 58 so Anderson's return to the side has started well. He's uh, been the, well he was the cheapest of all the bowlers but then he must have been a bit more expensive in his second spell. Um, yeah, Stokes to Coley. Just a bit of a wafted it outside off stump. Uh, we're going to have Ali at one end. Broad to Coley now. Good delivery, but didn't get anything on it. Broad to Rahani again. Hmm. Well then, James Anderson, I guess, comes in. And we'll go a bit more defensive. Anderson to Coley. He's hit him, and he's hit him hard. This would be a result if Coley had to retire hurt. Ah, he doesn't. It's a shame. Tienville Day 194 for 2. Moan Ali uh, will continue with him. I don't know why he's done absolutely nothing so far. Um, hopefully Chris Wokes can do something. Stu Broad, bring him back into the attack. Broad to Coley. And again, i surely got a, I've got something on it, and it has. Coley gone for 83. That's a big wicket to get. And yeah, Broad with his first wicket. Anderson now to Rahani. That gets his second wicket. LBW. He's gone for 68. And now India 293 for four. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get a few more wickets with this new ball. Now that's a good delivery from Anderson. But it must have been missing leg stump. That's a bit of a disappointment. Bring Chris Wokes back in just for a couple of overs. Moan Ali to Pajara at the end of the day. It would be good to get a wicket here, but... And again, Ali just being a bit disappointing. He's got another chance here. And finally gets his first wicket. Pajara gone for 56 in the final over. And at the end of day one, they've reached 348 for five, I should say. Um, yeah, not a great day for us, but... If we can keep them below sort of 450, I think we have a, a chance. So hopefully we can get the tail out early on today. That's the ideal scenario, but uh, haven't gone that way. Although this could be a run out, should be a run out, is a run out. Hamid with the throw, Janesha gone for 34 now, India 384 for 6. Hmm. It's certainly going to be interesting how the rest of this match plays out because the, the pitch will go more in India's favour as we go on. They've already hit 450 so it looks like they are going to get an absolutely massive total here. Hmm. Ali Dash win, not out. And again. And he's gone. He's out for 33. Good catch by Joe Root there. 465 for 7. Lunch interval day two. Oh dear, they're going to get 500. They're going to get 500. That's really not good. Bring Chris Walks in. Anderson to Darwin. Edged and gone. He's 0 for 85. Walks to Charmy now. No. That's just it's pathetic. A pathetic performance so far. Ali now to Sharmi. Uh, Brought to Kumar. No. Ali to Sharmi. Edged and gone. That's his fourth, sorry, third wicket. He's gone for 54. Now India 572. For nine, this has really gone wrong. Hopefully, Ali can get a, a final wicket here. And he has Kumar gone for 32. 5 7 7 all out. Has our chances of winning this series gone in that innings? Perhaps. T interval on day two, we've reached 17 without loss. We're still 560 behind. Still 360 off avoiding the follow on. Hamid gone for 19. I think his series is done. To be honest, just scores too slowly for me, unfortunately. 
Uh, Joe Root's come in. Hopefully he can put together a score. Alistair Cook doing all right. End of day two, 108 for one. Still 469 behind. But we're both playing on the same pitch. It should theoretically transfer that they got a good toll. So we should have just as good a chance of doing that. 50 for both Alistair Cook and Joe Root. Um, which is a bit of an upturn in form for both of them. Oh, that could be out though. It's not. Closing in on 150 now. This could be a run out. Good running though. And they're both into the 60s. I'm going to go a bit more aggressive with both of them. That's a new user record. Partnership between these two players. And that could well be out. Joe Root gone for 78. What a shame that is. Lunch interval day three and the final ball before lunch. We're still 386 behind here. We need to start being a little bit more progressive. That's a terrific delivery. But uh, Sentry for Alistair Cook. It's good to see. Balance gone for four though. I'll tell you what, if Livingston goes for a duck we're in trouble. But uh, luckily, he got off the mark. He's still only on one, though. And he is gone for one. He was struggling there. And they've taken the new ball. 2-3-2 two, two for four. We're still 345 behind here, but if we can avoid the follow-on, we still have a chance, but it's looking less and less likely here. Rain has stopped play. That could um, help us out a little bit, but we do need to win this match, remember to keep the series alive Ali's gone now for 11 so Ben Fawkes comes in and not the ideal scenario to come and play some test match cricket Alistair Cook's doing a great job 163 he's on now but he's finally gone for 174 in that next over we still need 61 to avoid the follow on Chris Walks and Ben Fawkes at the crease uh, end of day three then, 333 for seven, we still need 47 to avoid the follow-on. Can we do it? I really hope so. Oh, Chris Walks has gone for 13, what a shame. We'll tell Ben folks to hold the crease, but he's had a good debut. Ah, James Anderson, come on, stay in, please. Need 19 runs to avoid the follow on. Oh, it's just like the first test match all over again. Anderson gone for one. Oh, how disappointing. And we're going to be asked to follow on. And now we've got to stay in it. Um, I mean, it's already day four. I don't think we can have any hope of winning this game. Uh, but if we can get another big total by Alistair Cook, and maybe a decent total by Hamid, then might be able to do something. But Cook already gone for 51. He's had a good match, though, uh, Alistair Cook. Oh, but Hamid is really slowing us down. Joe Root gone for 29. We're still 98 runs behind India. We're not going to draw this match. We might as well go down swinging. Uh, Balance has had a really poor series. I thought that was about to continue there. I mean, it is. He's gone for 14. Very disappointing. T and will day 442 for three. Usually I'd be quite happy with that, but we're still 76 runs behind India. Uh, Hamid gone for 51. Not really impressed with that innings at all. I think his time in the England squad is going to come to a temporary end. Oh, Stokes has gone for a duck. Really, really disappointing. And we can still get beat by an innings here. Most definitely. Hopefully, Mo and Ali can have a bit of a swing. Oh, what a shame. Livingston gone for 43. Now Ben Fawkes comes to the crease. Had a, a solid first innings. Um, we're actually into the lead in this match, but it's much like the first test match where it's just going wrong. He's gone for 31 now. 
And Wokes and Folks will hopefully have the best partnership, but Folks has gone for 10. Stuart Broad comes to the crease. And we know Broad can bat, but apparently not on this game. End of day 4. 260 for 8. We lead by 42. If we can somehow eke out a 150 lead, then... You know, we'll at least make them work for it. But Broad gone for nine now, and that is surely going to be it. Chris Chris Wilkes is managing to stick about, but not anymore. He's out for 35, 279 all out. India needs 62 to win. The series is over, and we've been absolutely hammered. And it's all been won on the toss, in my opinion. If we'd batted first in one of the test matches, would have given ourselves a chance, but... Yeah, it's just the way it goes. I mean, we've got a wicket, but... Might have two wickets. No. And that's going to be it. India have won by nine wickets. Very disappointing match. And they've won the series. They're 3-0 up. Still two to play, but they're only dead rubber. So I think it's going to be time for some experiments and just having a look at, at new players um, and trying my best to to make them competitive. Um, I think give Joe Root a bit of a break. He hasn't had the best of times. I, I think he did get a century in that match, though. Um, well, he got 78. Got close enough. Um, I mean, looking at that, he hasn't had the, the worst series. He's had a couple of failures, and that's it. But actually, he had that duck. Mm. Interesting. Um, but yeah, we're, we're very low on confidence at the moment, and going into the Sri Lanka series in the winter, we are under pressure to get some results. So we're going to have to. Try and seek out some new players. I think Folks has been a good addition to the squad, but Bairstow has to come back into things because he, he's brilliant. So, yeah. We'll just have to see. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. Remember, there is a giveaway going on on the channel at the minute. A uh, video released a few days ago. The giveaway ends on Sunday, so make sure you get your entries in. Before then, have your chance of winning a copy of this year's game. I hope you guys are having a really wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.